Let's see if, uh, even though I have a full choke and it's going to affect accuracy, I can hit anything with some uh, Winchester rifled slugs. The Henry Lever Action Axe is a 410 gauge firearm. I'm not going to call it a shotgun because, well, technically it's a firearm. It has a barrel length just under 16 inches, an overall length just over 26, and so it falls in that, falls right through the cracks in the NFA. It is a five round tubular magazine which can either be fed from the open tube if you take the uh, inner inner tube out of it or through a side gate. Lever action obviously and it has this I don't know it's just I think it just looks cool. The uh, I'm assuming the axe name comes from the uh, axe handle shape on the uh, butt there. Uh, the receiver is drilled and tapped for a Weaver 63B uh, scope mount as I said earlier, you can load this through the side gate or through the tube. Let's go ahead and chuck some rounds in through the side. Real easy, just like any side loading lever action, right? One thing I like about, uh, about it is you can keep your tube topped off through the side gate as you, uh, as you shoot. And then when it's time to unload, you can just unload everything right from the front. Before we go any further, I need to thank Henry for sending me this for review. You know, it's uh, really cool of them to do that. But speaking of really cool of them, they recently did a uh, charity rifle for a young lady named Sadie who uh, was uh, diagnosed with cancer. So in order to help her family pay for all the associated expenses, they released 66 uh, rifles with a uh, special engraving on the stock and, and whatnot to commemorate uh, you know her struggle and uh, they sold them out and they sold them out quick and all profits went to the family so Henry you know good on you guys for that I also need to thank Winchester ammunition for sending me the ammo I'm using in this uh, in this review they sent me some of the uh, some of their uh, upland games some of their sporting clays and some uh, slugs to shoot through this uh, firearm so you know thanks go out to Winchester as well you guys are great Go check them out and definitely go check out Henry Repeating Arms Company. Okay, so some of you are probably wondering, yeah, that's a cool looking gun and all, but uh, what are you going to do with it? Well, Henry says that it's, uh, its purpose is for plinking and fun and, and stuff like that, which I guarantee it will be. Uh, on the other hand, it also just looks damn cool, doesn't it? But I also think that if you mount the uh, scope rail on the top and put a uh, maybe a laser or a red dot sight of some kind on it, this would be a great little gun for home defense, particularly with some of the uh, home defense loads that are out there now for uh, the, the 410 handguns like the Judge and whatnot. So that's something to definitely keep in mind. We'll show you in a little bit what uh, some of those home defense rounds can do. But for now, let's see if I can hit those cans. In the theory of seeing how this will do at home defense, in a completely unscientific and probably worthless test, I decided to get some uh, Winchester PDX-1410 Defender and uh, see what it'll do to that frozen turkey down there. Those are some real interesting looking rounds if you've never seen them all blacked out, but they are high brass. They have three copper plated discs and 12 copper plated BBs in them. Let's see what they do to this uh, frozen foul. Nasty!
That'll definitely make somebody think twice about coming in your house. Keep in mind, folks, that the chamber on this is only two and a half inches. It will not shoot three-inch shells. It comes shipped from the factory with a full Invector-style choke, which are available from Henry for like around 20 bucks on their website. So make sure you go check that out if you decide you want to buy one of these. Uh, let's see if, uh, even though I have a full choke and that's going to affect accuracy, I can hit anything with some uh, Winchester rifled slugs. can oh I got one more left what am I doing No kidding. Uh-oh. She locked up on me. Did I do something wrong here? Locking up. The uh, loading gate isn't wanting to shut. Hmm. It seems a little loose in there. See, here's what's happening. It's the loading gate, it won't come back out enough. To let the uh, lever shut, you have to kind of pop it out with your finger. That is awful loose. It should not be doing that. So after the malfunctions started happening, I took it home and you know, at first I thought that there might be a spring in here holding the loading gate out and that maybe that broke or became dislodged. But when I looked at the parts diagram in the manual, I found something completely different. There is no spring in there that holds it in place. Instead, the loading gate is a long piece of metal that's its own spring. It secures to the receiver by this screw right here. And what happened was that that screw backed out a bit. And that's why the loading gate was loose and getting in there and blocking things. So I took that screw out, put in a bit of blue thread locker, and we'll see what happens now. So at this point, we're gonna go ahead and do some patterning with this. The only choke I have for it is the full choke. So we'll, uh, we'll see at least how the full choke looks at 10 yards and at 20 yards with varying types of ammunition. First up, we're going to use this uh, Winchester Double A sporting clays, and uh, we'll do that at 10 yards, then at uh, 20. The top dot on the target down there is 10. The bottom dot is the 20. So we load it around at that uh, Winchester, and let's uh, see what happens at 10 yards. Not too bad a pattern. Let's see what it looks like at 20. All right, next up we're gonna use some of this Winchester Super X Upland and Small Game Loads. It's looking like I really need to start using a six o'clock hold with this.
Let's check that out. Again, at 10 yards, nice pattern. At 20, it opens up just about what you would expect. Next up, we'll be testing the PDX-1 410 Defender. Up close, that PDX-1 looks like it's a pretty devastating round, you know? Everything stayed right about where you would expect it to. At some distance, it spread out quite a bit though. So I'm Mike, this is Budget Guns and Gear Reviews. That was my look at the Henry Lever Action Axe 410. Overall, man, this is a sweet little firearm. I love it. Fit and finish is great. You know, aside from that little bobble with the uh, loading gate screw, which seems to have uh, been fixed by just a glob of uh, thread locker, no problems with it. It's beautifully made, well machined, exquisitely done. Forgot to show you the little cowboy on the, uh, the Henry cowboy there on the uh, end of the butt. That's kind of a neat touch. You know, this is a great, handy, short little firearm for close-in work. So once again, I'd like to thank Henry and Winchester for sending me the uh, stuff you saw here in this video. You know, getting support from companies like that is means the world to me. It's uh, outstanding. Uh, but it also means the world to me to have support from people like you. So if you like what you saw, please like, share, subscribe. Consider becoming a patron on my Patreon account. Every little bit helps me bring content like this to you. And as always, come on back. Maybe we'll learn something together.